Ta-da. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Eric Taylor. Taylor to you coaching. T to you see. I'm back with Black Moon Lilith. This time, I gotta get into the series at the nitty gritty. So it's Black Moon Lilith and Gemini. Gemini the twins. Brrr, Mercury 88 days, Brrr, right? Mutable air sign. Yeah, you can kind of say ruler of the third house, but I don't want you guys to get caught up on that because it doesn't exactly play out the same, the third house and Gemini, very similar. So what's Gemini? We'll get to Lilith. Gemini, like I said, the mutable air sign, right? It's the twins, yin yang, male, female, very flirty, the verbal sluts. It's about ideas, communication, you know, expression, writing. It's your hands, wrists, shoulders, your lungs, okay? Medical astrology stuff. <clears throat> but it's your logical, critical, analytical mind, okay? Gemini is the third sign and it's the first air sign. Quick, witty, actors, artists, very talented, extremely verbal, and they love to communicate with anybody and everybody, right? Mercury is the lower mind, where Jupiter is like the big, expansive, uh, big picture philosophy mind, right? Gemini is like, oh, there's a shoe, there's a tree. Sagittarius, Jupiter is more like, why do trees exist? Or do they have feelings? See the difference? Black Moon Lilith. All right, so, you know, I have a different perspective if you watch my first video. But yes, it is Adam's first wife, right? Lilith was kicked out, then you had Eve come from the rib, being more submissive to Adam. But it's like the female Pluto, it's the divine feminine energy that's been repressed and gets rejected by society in our patriarchal system. Things are out of whack, you guys. Black Moon Lilith, it's not you know, don't get caught up on Google and oh, the demon and eating kids and such. Yes, she was, did not want to be submissive, her and Adam, you know, she wanted to be treated as an equal. But this is all the mythology. The energy is more about your gut instinct, your root chakra, right? How God, how source really taps into your intuitive sensibility, your intuition. You know, when you get those tingles and you're kind of like, hmm, someone's like, yo, you got to meet so-and-so, she's mad sexy, or you got to meet this guy, he's the most handsome gentleman, he's 6'2", and this and that. And then you meet him and you're like, oh, yeah. And she's like, she's crazy fly, and you're like, nah, I ain't feeling her. Well, that guy's mad handsome, and the lady's like, no, I don't want to go out with him. Right? It's pheromones, hormones, your root chakra. The root chakra, the gut instincts, you have to follow it. Because when you get these like intuitions and downloads, that's really God speaking to you. And this world has been designed that you're, that you're not supposed to live by your Lilith and your, your gut root chakra. Now, when you're looking at Black Moon Lilith, right? Um, I use the whole sign system. I'm a Western tropical astrologer. Yes, I study some principles of Vedic, but um, Black Moon Lilith it's H13 at astro.com, okay? You want it to be accurate. You don't want to use the mean position. You want the true position for the Black Moon Lilith. Very important, okay? Because this the point, it, it, it moves, okay? So you and Gemini having this placement, you, oh, let me tell you some of the famous people. Oh my God, so Edgar Allan Poe, Muhammad Ali, rest in power, both of you guys. Yeah, you getting it? Instinctually, speakers, communicators, verbal masters. Um, Drake, Kendrick Lamar, Solange Knowles, Tom Brady, Mariah Carey. Um, who else? Kendall Jenner. I think Cassie has this. Lindsay Lohan. Peep the patterns. So these people, very slick with their words and their tongue, very verbal. I mean, just think of Edgar Allan Poe, Lindsay Lohan, Muhammad Ali, right? So yes, when you have Black Moon Lilith here, you can tell white lies or you could be a liar. You can 
manipulate people with your words and your thoughts and how you express yourself and your ideas. And you can just be a verbal linguist, a master, and talk a lot of smack. Muhammad Ali. <laughs> you can, uh, you know, have different ideas and go against the norm, right? Society wants to put us in boxes. Black Moon Lilith and then Gemini is like, uh, yeah, you're not fit me in no box. I'm not going to war to fight Vietnam. I'm going to take away my titles. I'm a black American and I don't get respect in this country. That's Muhammad Ali. People rejected him for that. He was ostracized and hated. Yet later on, as he couldn't talk anymore, then people were like, oh my God, I respect him, this great humanitarian. Tom Brady. He talks a lot of smack when he's playing. And maybe there was, maybe he was lying about the flate gate, right? Cheating. But he's so well-spoken and articulate and you know, and now he's getting free at Tampa. I love Brady, he's the GOAT. But Lindsay Lohan, lying about the drugs and this and that, and you know. Um, you know, so you see where it can play out in terms of, you're gonna see that when you listen to your gut instinct, Lilith energy will make you stand out like Kendrick Lamar, right? He is so in tune and instinctive with his words and rhymes. Same with Drake in terms of how they, what they say, how it goes to the people and representing Toronto and Compton, their local community. Yeah, they're global, but they've tapped into their local community. Black Moon Lilith and Gemini can be extremely flirty. Now remember, this is an energy. Yes, it's pheromones and hormones, but it's also it's the yes-no response. It's pre-verbal, pre-rational. And it's more of an energy that you emote, like a little sonar system, like boop, boop, boop. So that means other people will show up as Lilith energy to you to activate it in you sometimes. So people will try to manipulate you. People will try to lie to you, talk smack to you, flirt with you, be over-sexual with you, try to get you to cheat on your spouse or this and that. Or be over-sexualized, right? Talk a lot of smack. Be a contrarian just to be one. So when you kind of, like always, get your chart done. You need to know what house this is in. Just because it's in Gemini doesn't mean it's in the third house in your chart. You have to look at the ascendant, right? If you're Scorpio ascendant, that Gemini is going to be in your eighth house. Okay? If you're the Aries ascendant, the Gemini is going to be in your third house. If you're the Libra, it'll be in your seventh. I mean, I'm sorry. If you're, <laughs> ooh, that's Aries, right? If you're the Libra, it's going to be in your ninth house. So you hit me up, taylor2coaching at gmail.com. Get your chart done. Read the description down below all my prices so you can also go to taylor2coaching.com check out my website but email me please you want to get your chart done to know this energy and your whole chart but black moon love is super importante kendall jenner drake kendall hit me up salons i got you right but it's you i'm concerned about they might not ever see this video god bless them if they do but you have got to understand when you're on your high vibration, this will be Kendrick Lamar or Muhammad Ali, the humanitarian, or Edgar Allan Poe, the great writer and poet. The low vibration, it's the drugs and the rehab and the alcohol and the lying and the stealing like Lindsay Lohan or, you know, when, um, you know, Solange was cursing out Jay-Z in the elevator, you know, defending Beyonce, but, you know, like it can get you out of your character. Black Moon Lilith, it can make you, you know, I think about Kendall Jenner being so young and being dating and having these older boyfriends and stuff like that. It can make you be over-sexualized at a younger age, very flirty, you know? Mariah Carey, you know, being caught up in these relationships with Tommy Matola and all that. 
Black Moon Lilith and Gemini, though, will, will, when you on the right wavelength with it and you're listening to your instincts and gut, it's that pre-verbal yes, no response. And so then it's also tapped into your food. So you will eat something and you'll instinctually know. And you tap into the earth and you listen to the air, right? This mutable air. You'll be like, no, God said that's not right for me to do. I can't stay in New England. I got to go to Tampa Bay. I've got to stop doing the drugs. I got to go to rehab. I got to stop doing this. I got to do this, right? To, to get on your high vibration. Because Black Moon Lilith and Gemini can be amazing. Can be the humanitarian like Muhammad Ali, right? But he got rejected because he went from Cassius Clay to Muhammad Ali too. How dare you, right? <laughs> Oh, that was a bad brother, Muhammad, the Capricorn, man. You know, so just understand, you know. Remember, I think uh, Drake, you know, they were like, oh, you're, oh you, you're not, uh, mm -hmm. he had the rhymes on the, the phone or whatever, and he's reading them and stuff. Or, you know, people are trying to say, oh, you don't write your rhyme, you know, all the controversy stuff, whatever. But you see how things can play out. And what's more important is that you have got to respond to your chart and your instincts. So don't tell the white lies. Don't try to manipulate others. Be an honest broker with your words because words have power. I tell people all the time, Tupac and Biggie killed Tupac and Biggie. Whether it was the Crips and the Bloods or the government or the police or this and that or whatever, you energetically cannot project negative all the time and don't think negative is gonna come. You can't speak self-hate and don't think you're going to love yourself. You can't speak, oh, I'm poor, I'm broke, I don't got no money. Well, then you're not going to have any money. Speak victory. Speak wealth. I'm blessed. I'm healthy. I'm famous. I'm rich. I love myself. And it's not just for materialistic things. It's for principles of life, for your heart and your soul and who you are. Black Moon Lilith and Gemini is instinctually has the vibration and the potential to be a verbal giant for positivity. So be that. Do that. Speak that. Say that. Don't play that. Okay that. Uh, uh, you do that. Ba ba boo boo that. Alright, Black Wolf Love and Seven. I'm having too much fun. It's time to go and wrap it up. But yeah, hit me up. Please subscribe, ring the bell down below, check the flow, join the Patreon family. Hit your boy up. Hopefully you check out my lives and enjoy them. We're up to uh, episode 23. Might be rocking um, this week, definitely. But it's either, you know, do a show on Sunday night, maybe, or just, you know, Wednesday or Thursday. Just have a guest this week. And my, my guest that couldn't make it on episode 22 is going to reschedule and be back. So I got people lined up for you. All right. God bless you guys. Tap in, understand the divine feminine power no longer needs to be repressed or rejected. Find your tribe and be truthful with your words and be honest. But communicate with love from your heart. Listen to your instincts and your gut and your root chakra. God is talking to you. Escucha. T to you. Big Three Astrology, Taylor Two Coaching. Peace. Bye, Black Moon Lord. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy.